girlies it's Tammy so I'm back at you with another video today and today we have a requested video you guys asked me to do another tutorial using the soap palette and my last video did so well I thought I'd just come back and do another tutorial for you guys if you did buy the palette you can follow along of course if not it is available for £10 from tambeauty.com it's also in some superdrug stores and you can also find it on superdrug.com so yeah let's jump straight into this if you would like to see my first initial review of the palette swatches a tutorial definitely click the link in my description box I will leave it linked down below but today is just a tutorial no swatches I don't know why my eyes keep watering but it's very early in the morning all these lights in my face it's like nine o'clock in the morning I'm like okay so the first color I'm gonna take is this one right here and it's called iced coffee I'm gonna use that as a transition color in my crease so I'm literally just gonna pat this on as a base I'm just using it to kind of set my eye um eye sh what's it called Okay, perfect. So next I'm gonna go in with the shade below that, which is called Tiramisu, this one right here to kind of build up um, color in the crease. This is a gorgeous kind of neutral crease transition color for me. So slowly building that up into the crease. I don't know what look I'm going for today, actually. I'm just going with the flow. Okay, so I love that tiramisu color. It's an everyday perfect kind of neutral pinky brown color. Now I did say this in my previous video, but for 10 pounds, you get so much shades, guys. Like there's so many different colors in this palette. I definitely recommend it for the price. And the quality of the shadows are really good as well. They blend very, very easy. The pigmentation is there. There's no kind of fallout, no crazy fallout anyway. And I know in my last Soph video, I did get a lot of questions asking if I'm gonna be collaborating with Makeup Rev as well. Um, I don't want to say too much but I definitely am working on something. been working on it for a while now but of course it's nowhere near finished yet so I, I wouldn't hold my breath for this year. But you never know, 2018 might be a good year for me. Okay so next I'm going to go in with the shade Danger which is like one of my favourite colours out of this palette, my favourite matte kind of colour. I'm going to use this to kind of build up darkness here. I do want this to kind of be like a um, autumn fall look and this colour is a gorgeous kind of deep red burgundy. I'm going to keep the look very easy to follow and kind of not too many colours and too many steps because I know you guys might want to follow along with this so let's keep it nice and simple. So now that I've applied that red colour, I'm going to go back in with my previous brush and just blend the edges. I mean, this Danger Burgundy colour is like the ultimate fall or autumn colour. Okay, then next we're going to go in with the shade Rosewood, which is this deep dark cool tone brown right here. And we're going to put it in the outer V as well. So I'm just going to dab that right here. I am planning to go in with a dab of black as well. So you don't really need too much of this. Oh, and I don't know if I mentioned, but this palette is cruelty free and vegan. And one last time with the first brush, blend in the edges. Now my plan is to use the purple because I've used the green before in a look and I've used the petrol kind of bluish brown colour so I'm thinking to use the purple. Have I used the purple? I don't remember using the purple so yeah we're going to use the purple on the lid with maybe a little bit of gold on the inner corner or maybe the pink. We'll see how I feel. Let's put the purple down first. So the purple is called Mixed Berries and I'm going to put it all over the lid and I am going to wet it slightly using the Primark Priming Water and straight onto the lid. This is a gorgeous kind of pinky purple colour. And I think using your fingers for the shimmers in this palette will get you the best kind of finish. Oh, that looks gorgeous. I love purple, anything purple I'm just like, yes. Okay, so now the purple's laid all over the lid. I'm gonna go in with the burgundy danger colour here and kind of put it into the crease. Just the smallest amount. I just wanna kind of diffuse the edge right here. Okay, so I can't decide between the pink and the gold, so I'm just gonna take a dab of both and put it on my inner corner. So now we have like a pinky gold. Okay, so that palette is stunning. I absolutely love the look that I got today. I hope it's nice and easy for you guys to recreate. And if you do recreate it, of course, please tag me. I think I'm gonna put a dab of black on the outer V. You don't have to, but I want to because I mean, I love black eyeshadow. Okay, then for eyeliner today, I'm gonna try out one of these new NYX eyeliners. You girlies know I've been on the hunt for a new eyeliner, so hopefully this will be a new holy grail for me. So it's called That's The Point, and they do have like four or five different types of tips on the end of the eyeliner. 
some of them you can create like hearts with you can do like squiggly lines this one i pulled out the most two most natural type of eyeliners so we have quite the bender which i think is like a flexible brush and then we have the a bit edgy which has like a edge tip on it it's like a felt tip pen basically this one is called quite the bender let's see wow it looks very very black so far let's see because my problems with felt tip eyeliners are they always come out kind of gray for me but this one looks very very black now let's try do a wing that's the real test oh girl okay all right okay so i am not mad at that i usually clean up the bottom with concealer anyway so it's just the top of the wing that i was worried about that was very easy to use it is very very black this eyeliner could be holy grail we'll see i'll test it out a bit more because it all depends on like how it lasts throughout the day i don't want to see it fading cracking anything like that okay so the last thing i'm going to test out in this video is lashes now before we get into this i do have my own lash line called lovable lashes and that's what i wear in all of my videos but today i received a package from la splash filled with all of their new lashes and they have released their own 3d silk synthetic mink lashes and they come in packaging like this they do all have different colors of um whatever this thing is or like a mascara brush stroke or something like that yeah so this one is green and it's called extra so this is the style i'm gonna go in with today but they did send me like maybe 15 lashes so they do have different styles as well but make sure you are shopping lovable lashes of course because it's my brand <laughs> so once you take them out of the box this is the packaging it comes in okay girlies and i'm back so these are the lashes applied now i must say they do look beautiful now that they're on but to actually put them on was actually a task because the band is not really flexible it's really quite stiff and it's in that shape so for me to kind of make this my own eye shape which is rather straight i kind of had like a curved lash for a minute so i had to kind of pull both sides and so mine's being silk of course they do bend a lot easier to your eye but these ones have very stiff bands and I mean they're okay once they're on they look fine they're not the most comfortable eyelashes to wear in my opinion just because they are so kind of plasticky feeling and just definitely not the most comfortable eyelashes okay so that is the final eye look I'm gonna go off camera again do the rest of my face film a couple other videos and then I'll come back to show you guys my final look okay girlies and I'm back so here we have the final look I'm loving how it looks especially paired with this lip which is a new matte lip kit from makeup revolution it is the shade majesty that is what is on my lips yeah that is it for this video i hope you have enjoyed this tutorial let me know if you would like to see more using the soph palette i can definitely work on more tutorials the same way i'm kind of doing a series using the jacqueline palette i can definitely do more tutorials using soph's palette but if you did enjoy this video please go ahead give me a thumbs up please subscribe to my youtube channel drop me a comment and i'll catch you guys in my next video bye